My name is Gwenael Avisuet. Um, I'm working for Schneider Electric and I'm leading the operations uh, in Europe, uh, meaning it's a territory of uh, around 7 billion revenues and uh, basically we are doing all the activities around sustainability energy transition. That's who we are and what we sell to our customers across Europe. Schneider Electric has decided a year long time ago to position well ahead on sustainability and progressively our world business model are transformed on that front. So it means that, uh, you know, when it comes to energy transition, everybody's thinking about renewable energy on one side, but to do that, you need electrical products, you need software to optimize, uh, to maintain uh, the operations. And so that's what we are offering, electrical plus software. But in addition to that, we are also very much uh, into electrical Electrification. There is a huge enabler through electrification to decarbonize the economy, but it's also energy efficiency, how to reduce your own consumption in terms of energy. It can be for the industry with automation, or it can be for many other segments like building segments, data centers, etc. And so where are you seeing the biggest demand right now? We have a directive that is called Energy Performance Building Directive that will impose a huge transformation for the building segments in order to decarbonize, to control energy. Basically, we are developing sensors attached to electrical products in numbers of buildings in order to reduce the consumption in buildings through digitalization enhance the software piece of our offering. It's called EcoStructure. That's our platform for software optimization in order to reduce consumption of energy. And to give you an order of magnitude, by implementing that, meaning uh, sensors, electrical products, together with software, you can reduce the consumption of energy in a given building by 30%, with return on investment by less than five years. Now, when we're talking buildings, we're not just talking office buildings. Well, uh, I'm talking about office buildings. That's uh, one area. I'm talking about retail, for example, because you can uh, develop these solutions at scale for the retail segment. But I'm also thinking about your own uh, house. And here uh, we see more and more uh, people, customers that want to produce their own energy, to consume their own energy. Why? Because the energy uh, cost today in Europe is three to five times more than in the US, in other uh, parts of the world. So there is a question of competitiveness, how to control your own bill on energy in order to have uh, more visibility around your payment at the end of the month. What does collaboration look like for you to achieve your goals? One company cannot overachieve uh, these goals on energy transition and sustainability because First, we need to work with customers and suppliers in order to have meaningful impact. Our own emission direct and indirect is 1%. So we need to work with suppliers, with customers to have meaningful impact. That's the one example. The second example is that the bulk of the legislation encouraging this transition is done in Brussels or in the different countries. So we need to work hand in hand in that direction. We need, for example, to showcase that sustainability and competitiveness goes hand in hand. We should not oppose the two. We have concrete study cases to show that sustainability is good for job creation. It's good for economy and that's the core of political agenda. And finally, we need also to work with startups and the, the ecosystems of innovation because we cannot have inside our big companies everything. So we need to have that engaged. We have been developing a company that is called SC Ventures, Schneider Electric Ventures, dedicated to those startups in order to accompany them. It's one billion investment in numbers of startups, and it helps us you know, to identify what will be the key enablers to accelerate a step further in terms of technology, in terms of business model, in terms of go-to-market. How hopeful are you that you will continue producing impact? Well, super hopeful because that's who we are. We are an impact company. That's the way we define ourselves. We've been uh, working for sustainability for the past 18 years. So now it's part of our culture, completely integrated into our business model. And we consider sustainability like a marathon without finish line. It's always a matter of reinventing ourselves. This is who we are.